Well, hello, it's Tiddlywinks time again. And I hope you've got a nice, cuddly, soft toy to keep you company. Oh, Mr. Tiddlywinks is making lots of noise. I wonder what that's all about. Mr. Tiddlywinks, what have you got in your beak? It looks like some money. Oh, I wonder what our story's going to be about today. And where's Tiddlywinks dead? Oh, here he is. He's saying hello. Oh, Tiddlywinks dead, what have you got there? Oh, I think it's a bag of money. Well, well, what's that all about? We'll soon find out. Let's start by saying the Tiddlywinks prayer. So put your hands together and close your eyes. God in heaven, hear my prayer. Keep me in your loving care. Be my guide in all I do. Bless all those who love me too. Amen. Well, last week we learned all about what we do in our church today. And what we do do a lot of is pray for people who are poorly and ask God to make them better in the name of Jesus. So today's story is about two special friends of Jesus, Peter and John, who did just that. There was once a man who was poorly all his life. He couldn't walk and he had to be carried everywhere, just like mummy and daddy do when you get tired. Every day he sat at the gate of the temple, which is like a church. He asked people to give him money so he could buy food and clothes. We sometimes call that begging. One afternoon, Peter and John went to the temple. The beggar man saw them. He asked them for some money. We don't have any silver or gold, said Peter, but we are happy to give you what we have. In the name of Jesus, walk! Peter took the man by the hand and helped him up. Right away, the man's feet grew strong. He walked, he jumped, he went into the temple praising God. When the people saw him, they were amazed. It's Jesus' power that has made this man well, said Peter. Then all the people praised God because the man who had been carried everywhere since he was a baby could walk. So today we're going to make this puppet and it's the beggar man in the story who couldn't walk that Peter and John made well in the name of Jesus. So the first thing you need is a paper cup like this and you will need a matchstick with the end cut off. Now your sheet of body parts you need to print off in white card. Also you will need a pair of scissors, a prick stick, some felt tip pens and some thread. So the first thing you need to do is paint your paper cup. Now, use some paint if you have it, but if you don't, it doesn't matter, use a felt tip pen. And then you can draw the edges of the beggar man's coat on the paper cup like that. Now, the next thing you need to do is color in all the body parts very carefully. And you can see that there are two of each. So you need to cut them all out and stick them together and ask mummy or daddy to make a little hole in each with a pair of nail scissors. Also, you will need to make a tiny little hole in the top of the cup. Okay, so you take your different body parts and you fold over the edge of each arm and you glue it onto the paper cup with some Pritt stick. And you do the same with the head. So you fold it over on the dotted line on a beggar man's neck and you glue it down with some Pritt stick. 
And the next thing you need to do is take some thread and thread it through the tiny hole in his pants um, and then you can knot it much further up like I have done. And then you can pull it through the teeny little hole in the top that you've made in the cup and the beggar man's neck. And you can tie the other end to the matchstick. And there you have your dangly man. Hello Tiddlywinks. Wasn't that a lovely story about Peter healing the man who couldn't walk? How do you think he felt once that had happened? Well, he was so happy that he jumped and danced and praised God. And we're going to jump and dance now. So stand up and get ready for the song. And uh, when it gets to the uh, bit where the man jumps and dances, then you can jump and dance as well. So let's join together and sing that song about the man who was healed and could walk. We're going to pray now, so let's put our hands together and close our eyes and say thank you to the Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for helping Peter to make the man better so that he could walk. Lord Jesus, lots of people are not well at the moment and we ask you to make them better because you love them so much. For Jesus' sake, Amen. Well, that's the end of Tiddlywinks for today. So uh, I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. Christchurch, 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 Christchur